Hello, dear friends. We are once again here today to meet all of you. We welcome each one of you to the International Fab Talk Show. My dear friends, it's a pleasure to connect with the world. It's really a pleasure to share and learn many things from you and from our celebrities and guests who give us their time and their attention to be here today. And today we have a very special guest, a celebrity indeed, to share his knowledge and experience with us. In fact, I am thrilled personally when Sir accepted the invitation. Not only thrilled, my dear friends, I'm very excited and thankful and very grateful, humbled, Sir, when you accepted the invitation. Our guest is none other than Dr. Suresh Kumar Murugeshan. He is a professor of psychology in the American College of Madurai. Dear Sir, welcome, Sir, to the session. Thank you. Thank you for the invite. We are very happy that you have joined us today, sir. May I now officially introduce you to our guest, sir? Yes, please. I mean, you are the guest. I would like to say to the other guests over here present on the platform, you are a celebrity indeed. I would like to introduce you officially to our virtual audience and as well as to all the guests here present today. Our celebrity is really one person who is a humble person. At any time, you can connect with Suresh, sir. So he's like number Suresh, sir. Am I right? Yes. Yeah. So as I'm talking, even my specs also like excited that you accepted the uh, invitation. So I'm really happy and glad. Thank you very much, sir. So I just go ahead and share some very important aspects about our special guest today. What are his achievements and what makes our guest so special? Dear friends, he is a professor of psychology, as I earlier said, at the American College Madurai. Apart from that, he's extremely passionate in the field of teaching and research. He loves to connect with people from all age groups and as well as, you know, connect with professional, professionals on a professional level. Dear friends, I'd like to let you know that our guest, our celebrity, he has published more than 27 papers, research papers in various journals. He has written more than five books, I guess. And at the same time, he has conducted several seminars and conferences in India and abroad. My dear friends, he has you know, crossed over 40 training programs on different platforms. And friends, yes, more than 25 radio talks. And he's been invited as a guest lecture, lecturer, you know, as a guest speaker for more than 36 programs. He has also conducted about 11 e-workshops and four e-coaching, uh, you know, sessions. And our sir, that is Dr. Suresh Kumar Murugeshan, sir, is also very much you know, famous for the seminars and conferences that he's participated, not one or two. It may be, I think, more than 100, I think. Maybe it's crossing that. More thousand also, I could say. Am I right? Yes. Now hearing 2,000, I guess. And dear friends, our guest has you know, something special about him. He has a few hobbies. And I love all the hobbies which Sir is interested. Blogging. He's a great blogger and loves to share everything with the world, which he, you know is interested and he wants the world to know more about his hobbies and how it could inspire you. And dear friends, he's very good at networking. Once you get connected to Dr. Suresh, he's really going to make you feel special. He'll make you feel a celebrity. That's the speciality I like about this particular, you know, individual, I should say, or celebrity today. And dear friends, he loves to read a lot and he's also good at writing. So reading and writing are also a great hobby and listening to music, and dear friends, he's also completed his PhD and a lot of, you know, the educational background is so much. He has so many feathers and it's really very pleasing and happy to know that here he is with us in person. And I'm so happy, dear sir. Thank you and welcome to the International Fab Talks. Thank you for that invite. I'm really, uh, uh, what I can say, more uh, happy I can experience right now, even there are a few more programs earlier I was attended. Thank you so much for that fabulous introduction about me and warm welcome for me. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You really very polite and humble. That's the beauty of your personality, sir. Very approachable personality. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Dear sir, let's go on with the interview, sir. The first yes, question please. for you is how would you define yourself? Number Suresh, sir, Yar, who is Mr. Suresh or who is Dr. Suresh Kumar Murugesh? No. See, uh, there are many perspectives are there for uh, when we introduce about ourselves. Um, when I introspect myself throughout these years, so I can say that um, I'm an um, uh, agriculture uh, background family member. 
and uh, i'm fascinated in education because of my parents and they told me that education is the tool for our empowerment that is the word they used to say more frequently and that made me to get into that i can say i'm an average student in my school days but i'm very good in mathematics throughout the school days and uh, when i'm getting into graduation where i got an insight into psychology uh, when i was doing b ed and m ed and when 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 i tasted psychology i thought that this is the area i need to be there and explore it a lot then i started uh, learning more courses and now i can look at myself where i am and what i am doing uh, generally when you any put a big circle about myself 90% only psychology <laughs> so this is about me and uh, in in which and there are many specific domains are there areas are there in psychology itself and i feel that i am i'm very good in uh, technology integration of technology and psychology this is a very rare combination you can able to see um, those who are very good in psychology they may not have the technological expertise so this is the way i can connect myself and uh, one more area i can say the psychometry the only area in psychology where we can integrate mathematics and psychology so <laughs> i'm i look into my myself these are the area i'm, I'm good in that i'm working on it and uh, i hope um, i will give a, a, a footprint in that field of psychometry and uh, cyber psychology great sir very nice to know that sir very nice thank you so much sir thank you very much dear sir how how do you manage stress you've been in the professional field right for a very long time so there might have been ups and downs ninga vandu to stress eppadi de stress pandringa sir how do you de stress yeah there are many ways are there uh, uh, when when i uh, back to my uh, highest uh, stress experience in period is on my phd duration there are multifaceted uh, factors that cause for my stress my uh, co researchers supervisors other faculty members and we don't know what is going around us and uh, we struggle a lot because we are staying away from the family and we have to uh, stick with that time period and there are many time i i can say that even in the psychology i could in able to make myself to comfortable because we were very strong in theory i can say when i was doing my studies we are very strong in theory but when it comes to practice i think we are not strong in that and uh, for my relaxation there are many components um, weekend i will with me with my friends spending out without knowing that catharsis i have done do, those things i used to go to my friends and uh, it's a time for them when i talk with them i feel more relaxed there are few friends countable friends are there and whenever i feel stressed i feel very low and make a call to them and it's like a we are when our phones are battery is low we charge them and we will be back to that normal the same thing happened to me also this is the one way and second one is i used to take a lot of tea the people used to say that um, uh, whether it is around your whole body is running blood or uh, tea <laughs> so i i love tea uh, so uh, i it, it's a uh, uh, tea toxing and uh, it, it reduces my stress whenever i feel something when i'm working on that my my content on the research paper or something i feel something if i take a tea i feel relaxed and third one is about listening lira jamis so no one can uh, replace that there are a lot of music are there and uh, uh, every weekend i have a time for example it may be on saturday or sunday one day i visit nearby natural places it may not be on forest or stipulated place even the paddy field even there is an uh, peanut uh, uh, field any any field is there i will go and just observe and along with them. these are the practice i used to do when i was doing my phd and when i'm getting into professor the teaching and research uh, over a period of time and there are many time i'm a workaholic so when you look at any organization if a person is working all the work is assigned to that person <laughs> because they know that it's not the fault of the person they want the work need to be completed on time so the people who are not working will not get any work at all so when i'm getting more and one, one time i realized that i'm not striking balance in my plan that i can able to notice that that creates a lot of stress so uh, when i am realizing that where I, i i found there is a connection between our financial freedom and stress highly correlated 
how we are replacing the money. And, and I give much importance to saving the money. I, I, I count each penny for when I'm going to spend some that, something. But here, uh, after uh, 2019, I can say, there is a sit in my uh, financial plan. So I split into three in my salary. So earlier, I used to give everything to, for my family and savings. But now I have done that one into three parts. One is only meant for me. One is for my parents. One is for my family. That's enough. Because uh, this is the way I made uh, things. And uh, uh, when you look at the recent days, I used to travel a lot. And these areas are you know, two hours travel from Madurai. I explored nearly 41 places and uh, new places. And every time when I visit that, I feel um, less stress. And I'm connecting with children. Children are the ones who are more connected. When we are... Um, close with people who are happy and that is uncontagious. We also feel happy. So that, that I surround people like that. And I'm teaching in the field of teaching almost all the youngsters, they carefully, they never bother about anything. And sometimes that will also give us uh, energy for us to manage our stress. So the, the, the recent days I'm doing and um, time management is an another important component recently I included for managing my stress. Because when we are, uh, as, uh, I'm a uh, I'm not an assertive person, I can say. If someone is asking, do the work. I'll, I'll do that. So when I accumulated a lot of works and one point of time, I, I cannot manage to stick on the timeline. That creates a lot of stress. And now I'm having the time schedule. I prioritize whom that need to be given. Earlier, I'm not doing this. So I made it these things very clear. And that itself uh, um, that the, the factors that affect stress. So not only preventive messages, not only uh, management strategies, and now I'm making an effort to preventing the stress also. This is the way I'm managing stress. And uh, regarding emotional uh, stress, definitely it is very important. Um, I'm a more empathetic person, actually. <clears throat> so it's one of the very important quality for the psychologist or a counselor. And, and when someone is um, uh, narrating their pain, and I feel that um, I'm also experiencing the same, it affects me a lot. And then, Coming out from that takes a lot of time. That's why uh, if there is a uh, client, they, they will ask, more frequently they ask, can you give me one more slot for the next session? I used to give them after a week you can come because I have to heal myself. So uh, this emotional pain, what I will do that now, when we are uh, suggesting strategy for my client, I come to know that there are many strategies out there. I adapted those things. And from which spirituality is one of the very important things, even if you believe it or not. Spirituality has a huge impact on managing our emotional uh, stress. And we believe that there is a superpower is there. That is help us to overcome our stress. So th these things, um, uh, nowadays I'm using it for my emotional stress management and surrounding with uh, positive people. We know that there are many people out there and they have that uh, their uh, uh, expectations or there something in their mind. But when we are when we know that it attracts knowingly unknowingly. When someone is making a call to you, there isn't something reason is there. There are so many people are there, and why they are making call in the particular time. So there is a reason. So uh, I found that these things need to be connected and try to help them to open. And and when I'm down. Even I cannot say that I've never had a down. I had a lot of downs in my life. Sometimes. And whenever I'm down, then I think that there is an one over. There is an own Tamil film uh, statement. The same thing. When there is a period comes, you will be down. And I'm having, uh, I, I believe myself. You, you can able to come out from any kind of time. So that is an, another important quality. I feel that that will help us to overcome any kind of stress. So these are the strategy I, I can take. In addition to that, when I'm giving more strategy for a client, there are many techniques. Adlerian therapeutic techniques are uh, uh, mostly more frequently used for my overcoming stress. And relaxation technique, as usual. APM or yoga nitra, mindfulness. Mindfulness is a recent day. I have done a course on mindfulness. There are a lot of techniques out there. And mindfulness, breathing itself, it has many words itself. And the external uh, environment, gardening, gardening is a very important, and that also creates the stress for me. <laughs> Someone come and make something nonsense in the place, 
and it, it hurts me a lot. Right? But later I realized that, okay, so we'll like, recreate. Nothing wrong in that. But in the beginning days, when we have a planted something, and the people definitely, they never know about the value of the plant what we have done. And they will uh, do something wrong and it will hurt a lot. Later I realized that, okay, we'll, we'll, we have the ability to regrow that. The same thing we can do. So gardening also, very important thing I will do. And cycling for physical exercise, that is very important. And stretching. So uh, physical activities and emotional cognition. And I give less importance to that. And I used to watch a um, uh, lot of um, uh, series. Mostly on National Geography, <laughs> animal plotting. So any any uh, documentaries related to nature or uh, deep sea, uh, these these kind of documentaries are make me de-stress. Amazing, I feel that whenever I feel something very, I I, I go and watch that series documentary that helped me to open. So these are the things as per my. There may be something I may miss out here. Definitely after the season I may remember. <laughs> Very nice, sir. Brilliant, sir. You've shared so many different techniques and so many methods to de-stress. Not one, two. There are several techniques. And it's a takeaway for me and our audience and all our guests present. Very nice, sir. Thank you for giving the different options on how you can de-stress. Thank you, sir. Dear sir, how were you as a little kid? Naughty, mischievous, very uh, shy, obedient. No. I, I can say I'm very naughty. Oh, really? Yes, sir. <laughs> Everyone, no one will believe that now in, in my uh, in-laws house and uh, uh, in my college, if I say that, they never believe that. Okay, so you are the one, you will come and sit and even for a five hours, we'll sit and work in your place. But how you are saying these things? You go and ask my mom and my siblings and they are the one, they will give that right answer for you. Yes, I'm more, uh, I think a lot of things I have done. But I, I remember only very few things. Very few things I remember, but uh, one of the incident I can say, uh, it is in a six stand, six years old, uh, second standard or first standard when I was doing. Uh, there is a touring talkies like cinema theater nowadays. You know, they, everyone, uh, uh, they are uh, second so evening so they are going, and they told that you will not um, uh, awake and you cannot able to see the movie, so you can sleep here and we will go. This is the statement they made, uh, and they went to the movie. And when I come to know about these things, I it, it's uh, three kilometers away from my place. I started go there. <laughs> and, and that instant, I still remember because it is uh, somewhere in the middle. Uh, there is a water way is there. I couldn't, I'm not able to cross that. It was a rainy time. So one man who came and, and he helped me that because that instant, I remember. There are, like, there are many instances they used to say that. Okay, uh, so uh, yes. really, did you reach over there? Did you go for the movie? Yeah, yes, yes. <laughs> did you get the beating or something? I think uh, very next day, my grandparents were uh, told to my parents. I was there in my grandparents' house. You take your kid. We know, it is very <laughs> difficult for, me, for us to keep him in our house. Just oh. take it. Then they took me and put it in another store. Oh. Okay, sir. But I am happy that you gladly you know, crossed that place with help and then went back and came back safely. That's really nice. Thank you for sharing that beautiful incident, sir. The next question coming up is, who is your inspiration in life? Or who is your role model? Um, there are many, many people are there, but uh, most of them are my teachers. And many teachers are not a role model for me also. <laughs> so I can say some of them. Uh, the first person is about uh, my science teacher. When I was doing my... Uh, fourth grade, I think, as per my knowledge. So, and they are the ones who teach mathematics also. I'm very good in mathematics. Still, I, I believe that I don't know uh, but what kind of ability I'm having, but I still I believe that. So, there is an, some given in the book. Uh, he tried to solve the problem. He's not able to solve it. Then I tried something in my note, and I have done that. I saw to my teacher, and he was amazed, and he appreciated that's the first incident whenever because he's a graduate and he's my teacher at the age of uh, fourth grade when, nine, around 10 years nine and ten years and he whenever any teacher comes and he will call them and you look at him at this age he saw these things i tried many times i told him that made me more uh, thing and 
I, I don't think I, that may be the reason I'm more fascinated in mathematics. The next one is my Tamil teacher, and I'm doing ninth grade. And uh, um, grammar, Tamil grammar. Uh, whenever in his options or in his presence, he asked me to take the classes when I'm doing my ninth grade. So that, that motivates me a lot. And uh, I'm fascinated about Tamil because of him only. And now I'm uh, working on Sangam therapy. So it is about based on the Sangam literature, how we can use that literature for uh, therapeutic purposes. So, and well-being component, not for treatment of any illness. So that, that's I'm working on. It is because of his inspiration. And my, uh, and there are many teachers where uh, here and there they contributed. And when it comes to my PhD, my supervisor is on straightforward. And that gives a lot of uh, strength. That gives a lot of setbacks also. Um, the society is not what we are at. No one, um, we can say there are many things are uh, moral values and ethics are in the theory only. When it comes to the practice, there are many people are not being in that. But my teacher, my guru, and he's the one, I'm the last candidate for him. And he taught me a lot. Taught me a lot. And I don't cross the boundary. These are the things we can do. So that that, that person inspires me a lot. And uh, he's also like me. And he's the first graduate from his family and village. So so that um, uh, he told her how he supported her come to this position. And, and uh, he um, made me to learn every day. And he told that unless you are upgraded yourself, and the people will throw you out. Whatever may be your capacity, you may have any support. If you are not upgraded in your field, wherever it may be, if there is something comes new technology, you learn that. Even if you spend money. Uh, he is the one who motivated me to join the uh, SPSS program. And nearly uh, 2004 or something, nearly 20 years back, when I was attending, huge amount I was paid. Now, when you call it right now, it is like uh, 2.5 lakhs something right now. That, that equivalent amount. That time it was around 5,000 or 7,000 I paid. But what they taught in that program, you know, what I know, less than that they taught. <laughs> but it is a good initiative. It is he motivated. Whatever it may be, go and learn. This is the way. See, you check yourself. Whether you are behind them or... You are ahead of them. So this clarity will get it when you are going and attending. And these are the people and when it comes to others, there are many friends. Many, there are many friends out there. Uh, they also who uh, supported me a lot. Recent days when I started webinar series, there are unconditional souls. I can uncountable. There are many people who, who come and forwarded they supported this initiative. Otherwise, it may not happen for three years. So, and then there are a lot of learning for me. And and uh, before web se webinar series and after webinar series, I can look into myself. Before webinar series, and I'm I can say I'm a zero. Even though I had a lot of learning and everything. Why I'm saying that here we are able to get uh, inputs from 600 members. They need not to teach directly, but when we observe them and some qualities, when we like that, the best one, we can able to take it from them. So that I uh, uh, learned a lot and that helped me to uh, do well. And I have created more than 600 uh, presentations on psychology related uh, topics. So it, I learning from the people and they taught me how the slides should be, how the content should be delivered and what audience are looking for it. And and these are the, and the all the people I can say who were contributed in the webinar series, uh, directly or indirectly influenced me a lot. But mostly are teachers and my parents are the one. Um, um, I think they they uh, one incident I can say when I was doing my undergraduate. Uh, I think I'm from the rural background. I have done everything in. Uh, local uh, mother tongue only. So it is a drastic sip from uh, Tamil to English. I'm not able to understand what the teachers are teaching in the class for, for a month. And I told my parents, no, if they are spending money, I think I'm not going to give justice for you. I don't know whether I'm going to qualify this course or not. And my, my father told me that uh, we don't want to get a degree. You go 
because you are the only person in our village going to that college. For that reason, you can go. And anyhow, if, if they say that, if, generally they will say that, okay, go and work in the field. Generally, they will say that a lot of field is there. But they uh, told me that you just do for three years. And fortunately, <laughs> I have done uh, good in that above average in my graduation. And, and then now I am here. Uh, in, uh, that incident, I, I still remember. It is a, like more green. There is one more professor, uh, K. Venkatra. As we said, uh, uh, the internet was conducted. I was the one who scored very less mark, less than five. <laughs> so they call me, those who score less than 10 marks are asked to come and meet at other department. So when we went there, and uh, he asked me, what's your problem? I told that there is a sip from Tamil to English, that's the problem. He told me that, do you know, understand the concept in Tamil? Yes, sir. Can you able to translate your understanding into your way of writing in English? It may be right. Don't bother about anything, grammar and syntax and anything. Just write it plain. And uh, he asked me to correct few places. So these are the things you just make simple sentences. Don't complicate the sentence. And when you when you go to the standard reference book, the full stop goes after three to four sentences. <laughs> So he told me that make it very simple. One, one, one point, one sentence. So that, that learning gives me a lot. And, uh, and he appreciated in front of all the other students. So that, I think I, 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 I completed all the, uh, without any arrears. Fortunately, I qualified my values. So these are the people who are inspiration for me. And maybe some other people, they may not come in my mind right now. Maybe they may come after some time. Great, great, sir. And as you said, uh, you know, all the webinars, even it has inspired me a lot and it has helped me a lot to grow as an individual. Yes. Very nice. And I, I we thank you for starting it and giving us that platform to you know express ourselves and learn and grow. Thank you very much, sir, for starting the webinar series. Thank you, sir. Dear sir, now I'd like to go with the next question. How would you like to be remembered in this world? How should we remember Mr. Uh, Dr. Suresh Kumar Murugeshan? How do we remember you? Um, I hope Sangam therapy that will make me to remember by the world even after my presence here. That I, I firmly believe on that. Uh, because uh, when I when we uh, read more and more, we understand that the creators, what they have done, something they got an idea, inspiration from the nature, inspiration from something, and they contributed. And I got an inspiration. I can say, as I said, Sangam therapy is my... Uh, I believe that maybe I may not be, but I believe that when I'm doing it, when I'm publishing on a new theory and I'm writing on that, people will be remembered. Uh, this idea come to my mind when I'm looking at that the various theories and therapies. For example, the father of behavior uh, theories are uh, J.P. Watson and uh, other people. But when it comes to behavior therapy, he's not a person. There is another person, Joseph Lee. And for uh, gestalt uh, theory, Max Verdimir. But gestalt therapy is on uh, uh, foot spoils. So theory, theory means the condom already developed by someone else. Therapy is an application of that theory into practice. So this, 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 this is an insight. So we are not going to create any theory. Already the literatures are there, Sangam literature. There are three Sangams are there. Uh, the latest one is on... Uh, I forgot the name. and then Kadechana. So these literature, they talk about the, the lifestyle of people in India. So there are five uh, landscapes are there. The people who are living in an um, ocean and plain area, hill regions, and in the uh, night. And more, for example, Padanin Mer Kanak Nulli, Padanin Kil Kanak Nulli. Padanin Kil Kanak Nullis are nothing but Psychoeducation. <laughs> Nothing but psychoeducation. Cognitive therapy, I can say most of the canons of But Padanin Mer Kanak Nulgal are something different. It talks about Adam and Pura, the internal and external. Internal life in our uh, place where we are living, external, the war and other uh, bravery, and it talks about this. And these five landscapes find the near the, the poet who observe the people and they write. They are not 
imaginarily they are not writing anything. Imagination or creativity given in the writing of the words, for giving the word. Mile pola alagu, which means when 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 describe the beauty of a person, peacock. So they give like they do these things. In literature, what I found that they observe local normal people. And for example, in psychology, what we are doing generally in therapy, psychotherapy, treatment for the highest pain a person can encounter is a grief. Grief. So when there is a death comes, it may be recorded in the literature. Am I right? It may be recorded. For example, a person, the fisherman going to that uh, some to natural disaster is no more. And how the family members overcome those grief? And it is recorded by the poet and it is there. And what are the ways they can able to overcome the problem? It is there. Indirectly, they give it. It is simply like, and I learned from those things. Now, how we can ensure relationship with other members? Even in the literature, I, I just got an insight. As I said, when we are wearing a yellow color glass and when we look at everything, it looks yellow. Green, it looks everything green. So what I put that, I put psychological class and I'm reading the literature. So is there is any content is there related to psychology? So uh, I'm not focusing on that other uh, clinical component. I'm focusing on that well-being component. For well-being, what they told in that literature. Why don't we look at that illness alone? So we focus on well-being. There are many strategies are given. And I mesmerized and amazed the people who are contributed. And I can say, the Nantrini, the first Padanin Mekhanak Mula. There are 18 literatures there. And Nantrini, it's 400 uh, poems are there. 400 poems. And it is written by more than 200 people. Think about it. All the 18, more than 4,000 to 5,000 uh, poets wrote about that. The people living and uh, how they uh, overcome the struggle. How they come out from the pain, how they come out, how they succeeded, how they lived the life happily, how they nurture relationship, love, love and relationship. Everything is recorded. And I, I took that essence from that. And I can, for example, Nindra Solar. Nindra Solar it is a Tamil word, which means for relationship. Um, uh, when you say something, you have to stick with that word. So that very, very important trait for the people who want to nurture the relationship, it is there. The first word of Natrinai poem itself, it is very clearly mentioned there. When you nurture your relationship, never break your promises. Never, uh, uh, sorry, I, I don't know what to say. Um, they, they used to say that when you give a word to someone else, the trust, plainly say that trust is the uh, Basic element for your relationship, nurturing the better relationship. They can be very happy. So when you break the trust, and the, that will create the expectations are broken, and they have a lot of pain in that. And whatever if you do, when you try to reconcile those things, and that will affect them and, and disturb their things. So the, I, if you ask me, I will be remembered in that way. I thought that when I'm working and reading that I can able to complete in a six months. That is the idea I had. But I believe that it takes nearly six years to complete the work. <laughs> so now I have made only four uh, uh, presentation in that Sangam therapy. I'm just working on that. And I uh, invited many uh, like-minded people for writing, making that successful one. And they are also kind of helping us to... Uh, because um, when we look at that in our generation, including me, you can take me as an example. We are not too good in English, not too good in Tamil also. Somewhere here in Tamil, somewhere in English. So we are in the middle. <laughs> so with that, when we are writing and giving to the society, and all the people are criticizing when we are making any mistakes, we have a single letter, single word, and a single letter in Tamil. So these, we, have, we are supposed to use these things. So I, I'm, so I'm inviting, so I'm not expert in that, but I know how to correct those information. So I invited only Tamil professor. So, and another professor from psychiatry. So, this is the way he invited all the area. Okay, we cannot be able to cook. So, the experts need to be invited. Now, I am collaborating with the people. I am working on it. And another, uh, as per my thing, 2030, a complete work for uh, Sangam therapy will be out. But meanwhile, the uh, part one, uh, uh, needed uh, strategies will be. Uh, published and presented in different forms. As I made, there are many occasions talking about Sangam therapy. 
and it's, it's doing good for me also because when we preach something, we have to practice. I firmly believe in that. So when I'm taking the inputs from that therapy, I apply to myself whether it is working for me. If it is working for me, I can confidently say that yes, it, it may it may not work for other members, but I can say that when I'm doing these things, it's worked for me. If it is not working for you, there may be a problem, the way of communication or the way you have taken that. And some other techniques are there. If the uh, solution one is not working, you can go to second and third, fourth one. There are many, many strategies in terms of this are there. If the first one is not comfortable for you, for example, as you said, uh, stress management, many perspectives are there. Emotional, cognitive, and behavior. Some people behavior will be more effective for children, and for some people, emotional strategy will be more effective. So we, we can make them to understand. So these are the things we put forward. So I believe that I will be remembered even after me. Um, the the literature, the research work, I'm I'm taken up right now, and that will talk about me in in future. So that that, that is the thing I can say. Great, great. And we wish you all the best in all your endeavors, especially the Sangam therapy, which you're focusing on. Yes, dear sir, it will be a success. Thank you so much for sharing it so de in detail. That's very nice. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Dear sir, are you a movie buff or do you watch movies a lot? Do you uh, watch movies? And if so, your favorite movie? Uh, movies, uh, definitely not. It's going and watching in theater, I like. But uh, spending I'd like to add here, you all. When you were a kid, you went to watch it, right? <laughs> okay, now, how are you? Now, um, uh, what I have generally based on that, uh, I cannot say that uh, I like movies 100%. It's a period. Yes. Sometimes I like watch movies for continuously. Sometimes I won't, for one year, two years, I will not go to the movie. So, th these are the mixed situation, but I used to watch in uh, mobile phones or uh, series or movies in my uh, record things. And uh, the most liking movies are related to that. Emotional movies I like the most. And action and adventures and, and uh, like uh, uh, the nature, and something science fiction movies. So th these are the thing, cartoon. <laughs> the cartoon movies are the one my first priority. If there is a cartoon movies are there, I will put aside everything and, and I watch more cartoon movies. So these are my preferences. So when, your when, favorite hero? Hero. There are many people. Uh, Rajini Khan for actions. <clears throat> Barsha movie is the one who made me. And for other uh, thing, I, I like uh, Madhavan, Madhavan movies. Surya. So these are the people I like. And Vijay and Man will be there. Not much into that. Recently, I used to like that movie. And uh, Malayalam movies. There are many movies. It's very slow movies. But when they are uh, taking us from your team, and they narrate it very amazing. The social message, in fact, will be in their movies, right? The Malayalam movies. Like Special Malayalam. social message, maybe some traditional message or something to convey. Yes, simple message. They convey it amazingly. There is a movie called Home, actually, Home. Uh, an elderly person will be there and how, what kind of uh, thing that will affect for them. And for the, there is one movie, uh, what the name? <laughs> the rival between husband and wife. The ego, ego class. There is one well narrated story. If a couple, they want to resolve the conflict. My suggestion would be ask them to watch the movie. Yes, yes. So if you get lots of holidays, hmm. which place would you like to go? Your favorite holiday destination? I, I uh, generally, there are, when I look at the people who are posting in social media, I went to Dubai, I went to Switzerland, UK and other places, USA and other places. But what I believe that there are many places, I'm in Madurai. I'm in Madurai. There are many places in Madurai are treasure for us. We are not aware of it. And I can say that the trekking area, the small mountain, there are many places are there. And I listed out 41 places. 41 places. And it takes nearly 30 minutes from my home. Wherever I start, maximum one and a half hours to reach the destination and explore, I will come back. 
and, and lovely places are there and i'm still uh, uh, uncovering or discovering i can say there are many places in, in and around madurai in and around madurai and i'm exploring a lot of places and Thane district the adjacent district of madurai it has a lot of what i can say mega malai so when i went there there is a place called uh, kambam met something like that where i look at that the sceneries in the documentary showing about that western countries i witnessed there in megamal in and it is on uh, trekking for nearly 3 hours and i i found that it is on mesmerizing and, and i am exploring and i am connecting with that whatever is there i can able to get it from here itself and they are spending uh, 3 lakhs i am spending around 3000 that's it. that's the difference great great <laughs> very nice life. Dear sir, uh, I guess Madura is called as the temple city. Is am I right? Yes, yes, temple city. Okay, thank you for sharing because I just was long time back. I read somewhere. The temple city, Meenakshi is a very famous temple. Ah, oh, yes, yes, Meenakshi Amman temple, right? Am I right? Yes, yes, correct. Thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you, dear sir. What is that one thing you like about yourself? You think this is me? I I like myself because this is the quality that is within me. I forget this. Yes, sir. Okay, I forgive. I don't keep anything. In mind. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, forget. Even they, they will remind me. I have done these things, but I am not remembering. Even if they have done something wrong, I forget. So, this is a specific quality. I believe myself. Great. That's a rare quality. Rumbo rare. Hello, sir. Yes. yes sir. sir, Ungal got a lottery card. Chirka. If you get one lottery, uh, what would you prioritize? Would you want to get a big lottery, or you think a perfect job is fine? Which one, or both? no um, see uh, everyone uh, has a dream in their life right so even when i was um, childhood i had a dream i must have an a house a car that's all that that's my big dream even it may be on multi floor or whatever we need a house and then a car i'm having these two now there is no need of uh, more expectations from that anybody else on some time uh, when someone is asking help from us and if the money is there i can able to help and support others but that reason i can may expect this i i still remember i connected with many people when the students are uh, asking i'm not able to pay money and i, I support them directly or indirectly and that time i feel that sometimes when when the students are making i'm not able to help them they feel okay if i had little more money i can able to help them otherwise i'm really happy with that what i have How sweet, sir! You're such a nice person. You know, very humble, down to earth, very practical, satisfied, contented. Very nice. I like that uh, way of you know sh- knowing who you are. Very yes. nice. Thank you so much, sir. Dear sir, uh, were you interested in sports and games as a little kid, as a youngster? Do you still yeah. have any of these? Yes, I'm. I'm a very good cricketer. Oh, great! All rounder, and I can say I introduced cricket to my village, and we got a lot of prizes from different place tournament. and even i am a good player for my college oh great so uh, uh, i'm i'm as i said i'm, I'm spending time with for my cricket and the studies are very difficult to continue with the cricket for longer period of time but i believe that i am i'm like to play a lot and i still remember there are many villages we visited and stay there and we play for our village and oh great uh, uh, many many men of the matches i got it i still play uh, Very Listen. nice. You know, I did not know that you were specializing in this area also as a cricketer. Very nice. Good to know. I think uh, in other village people will call me. Can you come and play for us? Ma, so, very nice. Rumba rumba na na. So it's good to hear. That's nice. Rumba Maybe what the name of your village? Like which place? Would you like to share that? Yeah, I hope you may remember Red Pond. Is that Red Tommy? Pond? Yes, sir. And the literal uh, Tamil meaning is an singular. Okay, singular. <laughs> I uh, when we translate into when I say James Pond, yes, sir. Oh, uh, that's on something fancy, you know. When English words are there, people will know it. So I when I say singular, what is that singular? So these are the questions I used to get it from the people who are hearing me. And yes. singular is my village, and uh, I I literally converted into Red Pond. I'm using all my ventures into Red Pond. Oh, great. Red Pond Research Center, Red Pond Community Center. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. Oh great! Now I got it. Uh, very nice, very nice. Thanks for sharing. Very nice, beautiful. 
and really we should thank all the villagers thank your parents your ancestors you know yes. who have you know transformed your thoughts and you have they put you here encouraged you to you know come out from there and see the world and take it back to them and yes. share it with them very nice very nice dear sir very happy to know that sir very nice so th- what is that one change you want to bring in the world i think i believe i think we cannot be able to make any change i can i believe that we can able to make our perception now even the table color i'm keeping in my laptop i cannot be able to change even if i try the original and and uh, uh, i don't think so but i believe that internal changes need to be done a lot when i change when i look at other people they are inspired they also are willing to change if i am not changing if i ask them to change definitely it will not work for us so there is a thing i i have a faith i may be wrong but i believe this will work for for me great nothing you cannot change anything anybody right that the change should come from within no internal change i accept right. yes very nice dear sir when do you plan to retire do you have a plan to retire retire means um, some uh, we mean that the work what i am doing right now or uh, yeah read the work like you know professionally you are connected right so i just take a break from profession uh, my professional space it's retirement time i only relax in nature maybe spend time traveling with family so that that as i said now after 2019 my plan the timing is i fixed so one third is for me and i i have the i never there are many people have the well structured planning for their but i'm not having any well structured plan so i i have a tentative plan so these are the area we can explore and i make a call them it is okay and we see if there is no crowd and we can i, I can start this spontaneous is working for me a lot but for work i will do the time uh, plan the planning i will do for my work but for these kind of things just randomly i will put it and i will take anything okay red color wall okay we will go to this place and retirement i feel uh, my profession automatically will come one day we need not to make any days of that the time will say that go on sit yes yes yeah until then we'll learn yes dear sir the next question is how would you differentiate smart work and hard work both are very important both are very very important i, I can say that i'm not a smart worker but i'm a hard worker but now now based on my experience the hard work you know I, i still remember when i'm doing a manual call placing at one point of time i i got an insight to need not to go these many steps within two steps we can able to do that smart work also will help us there are many tools are available like uh, ai tools artificial intelligence tools are available and we can use those tools for uh, uh, make our work very easily and both are very important but when it comes to hard work and smart work smart work i can give preference smart work need logic creativity but hard work need not have anything see that when when there is an instruction when there is an a role model is that we can able to do that but for uh, smart work definitely you need a rational high kind of decision making creativity logical thinking lateral thinking everything that need to be there in a person then only they can be smart smart work is always better than it will win that person the hard workers hard workers when you count that when you compare with these two smart workers will be more successful 99% and these hard workers one person they may be successful so this this is my belief but um, uh, hard workers sometimes like a, a ras between um, these two hard workers also more successful there are, uh, I, i i remember uh, one of the student uh, he is not very smart he he has he sit in a place and he work for uh, he studies study studies and uh, he surpass the uh, the smart student in my class oh. that that's i witness but th- these kind of numbers are very less in numbers yes be smart <laughs> i used to say many people when my client when there is a relationship conflicts are coming uh, i used to say them be smart that moment you have to make a decision that place and wait up when when the ego class when, when it is there why i have to give up we have to give and and why i have to adjust only from my side i use that one one incident recently i had i went to 
if your husband is, you know that the person is like that, the core personality you cannot able to change. The core. Definitely you cannot make change anything in that. If you just understand that the person is an MR or intellectual disabled or artistic child, and they will do the same kind of things no, again and again. And think about that and forgive them. And when they practice these things, and there are a lot of relationships for Marshall. And the person who realized that, definitely one point of time, the person will realize the mistakes who has done that. The moment that it may happen for the last minute, it may happen in the beginning, it changes the person to person. We cannot say when it will happen. But for our side, it is happening and if we are smart enough, and that's enough for making the family relationship or going better. We cannot say that no single couple is 100% compatible in the world. Yeah, that's true. Very true. So, so they have uh, differences and everything. And these differences need to be, if they are smart, they will know that these, they understand that, okay, we have to accept it. Very nice. Sir. Very nice. So what brings a smile to your face? When do we see you smiling most of the time? Or what is it that brings that beautiful smile on your face? Because whenever I have seen you personally, I'm like having uh, maybe more than three years, I guess I know you. So yeah. I've always seen you with a smile on your face. I've never seen you angry or, you know, upset. Uh, even though if you are, you are, you just are able to cover it up with a beautiful smile. So how is that possible? See, uh, um, self-love, I can say that. Self-love is a very important thing. When we smile and we'll be looking good. So when we are a little, uh, sometimes when we take a selfie and we feel that more ugly and it, we feel more embarrassed. <laughs> so better keeping, need not to spend any money for these things, being smiling and uh, displaying or smile to somebody else. And it is a random act of kindness, not only for us, others also. So smiling, someone is crossing and, and when you make a smile, and as he said, it is a contagious. The positive emotions, positive qualities, what we have, and it has an effect on other persons. It's a ripple effect. So try to, I, I try to make, and as you said that I, I, I mean, there are many people who are looking at me, they will say that he is the person who never make any complaint. Yes, I do make a lot of mistakes. I do. I have done a lot of mistakes in my life also, and I have um, uh, this displacement of anger will be there. Now, once both a person, when, when you look at me, how many percentage I'm going to I can say 51. 49 percentage are uh, the block area. The many people may not be aware of it. And when the people are very close to me, they may know about it. And I believe that um, uh, these are the good things, and they believe that what I'm feeling good, they may not, they, according to that perspective, those components are not good for So and there are many, many incidents they say that. So for me, uh, the, there is an if I feel more hungry, I used to take food immediately. But I, otherwise, I feel little anger. That I can witness, and many places my voices are rising. And uh, when when the students are making something, I shout at them. Then I realize that it is because not because of that the student what has done. It is the internal component that makes me. I realize many 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 things I I had, but I due to maturity, <laughs> due to experience, I feel that okay these need not be. Now I'm minimizing that. When I do the error, when I do the mistakes. And we, we know that how oh, we are not supposed to do these things the next time. These learnings are coming. So that I can say. But uh, I believe that instead of making other person putting down, we try to make them to grow up. Yes. Uh, there is an own word is Udavi Pangalana Upatram Panana, which means when you are not able to help, don't try to putting them others down. Yes, absolutely. You're not helping the person. Why are you making an effort of putting them? You're not making a lot of efforts. And I, I believe that. So now I'm doing these things. If I'm not able to support it, stay away from that place. Even I, I, if I'm uncomfortable with that, I stay away and be silent. Now I'm doing a lot of uh, mindful uh, practices. I hope maturity is coming up. I don't know whether it doesn't it takes a lot of time to reach that. I'm moving on that direction. Yes, yes. Very nice, sir. Thank you for sharing. Sir, Ungal ko bayam irka, sir. Bayam yeah. fear. If at all you yeah. have any fear, like what fear is that? Uh, fear uh, is about... Um, it could be just anything. Maybe a snake or maybe a lizard or maybe like people. No, no. 
here is about the feature only. It's about the feature. And uh, I have a fear about when it comes to animals. I'm, I'm, I'm not witnessed as of no more frequently. Snake, naturally, everyone having that phobia. But for future is the one thing that creates a lot of fear. Because uncertainty, COVID-19, that thing. Even I too had a lot of psychological problems. See, I, I, Paranoia, we are saying that when we are looking at the people, when they are doing normal thing, and we suspect them and they are trying to spread the virus. So, yes, I had these things about the future. Uncertainty is the main thing. Others are, I'm okay with that. Not much. Okay. That's nice. You know, fear of uncertainty, fear of, you know, the future maybe. That's very fair, very nice. Do you see the next question is, like, if you weren't the, a professor now, if you weren't in the field of psychology, where would you be now? What would you be doing now? Yeah, that when you ask me, so when we take thousand people are in the field, just I'm giving number, random numbers, maybe more than that, thousand people are in the field. Where I am right now? See, uh, I, I listen the uh, presentations of other members. And I know that, see, when we are uh, comparing others, we have to know where we are right now. And when I'm listening, and I, I can say more than 50 percentage, <laughs> about 50 percentage of my professors, I'm higher than people. And certain area, I am the top 10. So I, I, I can say, for example, psychometry and uh, uh, positive psychology. And, and these are the components. I, I can probably claim that I'm in the top 30 or 20. And the other certain area, still I need to develop a lot of skills, a lot of area, a lot of components. And uh, out of 1,000, I can say 100, top 100 I'm there. I, I believe that maybe I may be wrong. I have to check. This is my personal uh, opinion. Sir, good. Great. Thank you for sharing, sir. The next question coming up is, Ungulo, a favorite color? Yeah, yellow. <laughs> yellow. Great. That's lovely. So that's why I... I uh, my red pond to yellow pond. Okay. Oh, so yes. the red pond has been transformed to yellow pond. Is it so like that? No, no. And so when see, when you look at that many uh, branding, brand when you look at when you look at that raiments or something, clothing, the counter uh, competitors are from uh, the same company. Ramraj Cotton. There is a popular uh, garment in Tamil Nadu. And they are having other brands also, Udayam and Cotton Park. So these are the other names. They making that their own brand and they giving in. So when I had a uh, interaction with my colleague, Dr. Subha, and she told me that why don't you start first? I'm doing five major areas in my work. One is about counseling, as a psychometric assessment, and research, and training and development. Uh, there is one more uh, writing. So, documentation. So, these are the five areas I am working on. So, they told me that why, why, are you, why are you using only one word? Red pond means they are wearable, but the other brand name, and I, you put it yellow pond, you put it green pond, you put it. Great. So, I shifted five pond. <laughs> nice, very nice. The way I, I started. But I, the color, uh, yellow color is when you go to the nature. <laughs> Everything is green when you are with yellow color. I think it will be vivid and more attractive also. We'll take some of the pictures. And second one is red color. So it's very amazing. These two colors are yellow colors and vitality. Green yes. color, um, yellow, uh, yellow color is on uh, happiness and other things, concentration. Red color is about vitality. Yes. Sir. Yes. Also sir. Later I learned that. Great, sir. Great, sir. Beautiful, sir. Very nice. Dear sir, could you share with us? Your favorite subject when you were a student? Yeah. So learning, there are a lot of learning theories are there and, and mathematics, the subject when it comes to mathematics. In psychology, I can say statistics. <laughs> These two areas I like, psychometry and statistics are the most liked subject for me. So the next, are you tired? Now or uh, earlier? Now, now. Are no. you tired? Am I taking a lot of your time? Oh, no, 
No. You can drink some water. You can relax because there are a few more questions to ask you. Yes, yes. I'm, I'm right. a little sharing. Yes. You could order for a cup of tea. You could request. I, just before starting the session, I yeah. had tea. Okay. Could you share like which is your favorite tea? Is it normal tea or maybe green tea or maybe, you know, lemon. there are some specialities. Lemon yes. tea I like most and uh, recent days I like more coffee. Coffee I like the most. Recent days. But earlier... Lemon tea is the one I, I, I used to have uh, more frequent. Um, and when we, the milk teas are uh, not comfortable for me because the taste need to be experienced. Black tea I used to get, I used to have more. Uh, it is easy to prepare for myself. So when you ask me what are the things you can able to cook, and I can say, uh, I, I take care of my uh, washing, my class and uh, other uh, places, cleaning and everything. But when it comes to cooking, I'm very poor in that. Because of that, I suffered a lot, many, many places. I know how to cook a rice. But when it comes to that uh, uh, gravy... Kolumbu, right? They say Kolumbu, yeah. Or anything. I, I tried um, but... and I couldn't make a perfect one. So that is the only drawback for me. And tea, I think I, there are, I, I got a lot of comment from many people who... I came to my room and when they are asking tea, when I prepare and give them, they said, amazing, you know, better you can start your own tea stuff. Oh, wow, great. And that's so nice. So sweet of you for sharing all those beautiful details. So very nice. And very, you know, you're such a person like down to earth. Now I can discuss with you just anything like you know, you're so approachable. Very nice. And very few people where you can get that connect. Yes. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Dear sir, do you have any uh, message for the younger generation? No, one thing is about, uh, it's not by me, it is already given by many uh, uh, wise men. What are you saying there? You may have a lot of knowledge, but now the technology comes, AI comes, with that click you can able to know the answers. But values are very important. See, they, they know the importance of respecting others, but they are expecting others to respect them. What nonsense is this? The young generations are not, they don't know uh, giving, they, they feel that something wrong giving respect to the elders and others. Not about elders, others. Giving respect to others is very important. Mm -hmm. uh, but I witnessed that nearly, I cannot say all the youngsters, there are more, nearly 50% of youngsters they are respecting and telling. But there are, the numbers are increasing when compared to my generation. These numbers are increasing. They are not giving. They are not giving respect to other members. So that need to be. That, that's the one thing I feel that need to be improvised. Great, great, very nice, sir. very nice of you. Thank you. So we would now like to hear a beautiful proverb or a hmm. quotation from you. Like, which is your favorite? Uh, suddenly, I'm not. Could be in Tamil also, Parvai. Listen, a nice one in Tamil. Okay. I, I try to recollect something. Uh, maybe we'll pass this question and come back again is that yes. okay we can yes. pass and when it comes I'll let you yes sir definitely sir dear sir do you love pets yes you have uh, one at home now uh, earlier I had right now I'm not having any pet uh, dogs I like the most cat I had but uh, due to some health issues I'm not using these two um, the pet uh, parrot and other things I had, and my son is not feeling well, so. So don't <laughs> want any pets. Okay, this additional responsibility, right? Yes. yes. So if you were given a chance to visit the zoo or a sanctuary, zoo wanted to Patanimsham from our house. Sanctuary is random, uh, two hours, two and a half hours. So which one will you select? Where would you like to go? Second one, sanctuary is the best option for me. Maybe know the reason why. Is even though it is so far, why would you like to go there? The travel, one thing, one, the travel is traveling. Fitness more. And uh, when we go to the zoo uh, or any, any park, they were in a cage. They are in the not, not natural environment, generally, except a few places. And, and when we look at them, the face of the animals were in a zoo, and they are asking us, why are you disturbing man? <laughs> why are you coming and disturbing us? Please leave us. So there, there are many places, even Mandalore, and one place in uh, near Bangalore. 
Bandarahata or something. There, it is a natural illness. That, that kind of place we can able to visit. So that's why I'll, I go for the second option. Great, great. Sir. Very nice. So I have a cup in my hand and I'd like to ask you a question. Is your cup half full, half empty or is it full to the brim? How do you look at it? Uh, in your hand, you are asking. Uh, in general, the, connected mm -hmm. to your life and your professional journey or overall journey of your life, how do you feel life is? So life is a mixture of both. Um, half empty, half free. Okay. It is a 100 percent is there. 50 percent success, 50 percent not success. So very, nice. very honest answer. You know, that's really very nice. To be very down to earth, practical answer that is, yes. Okay. So, how many languages you are able to speak in? No, I can understand. I can able to speak Tamil and English. I okay. can understand few languages when they are very slow in conversation. For example, Malayalam and Telugu to some extent because now some of my friends. And Hindi, I think very hard. Very few words I can remember. Other than that, I'm very poor in the Tamil and English. So, could you just give us any one or two words in Hindi if you remember? You could re recollect any words now? I just putting a little pressure on you. Chalo. Oh, good. So these are the things I have. Okay, chalo. So let's go on with the next question. Beautiful, sir. So are you a good listener, a speaker, or both? Both. Both. And um, uh, listening is now, now at, at Recent days, I'm giving priority to listening. But um, speaking, we can able to get what we know to us. But when we listen to others, we can introspect and we can understand that, okay, so these are the area we are not aware about that need to be explored. So Super. this is really important. Superb, sir. This, uh, this answer is very good the way you have put it very nicely. When you listen, you get to know more. More, right? definitely. Super. And to introspect as well. Very nice. I like this answer very much. Uh, dear sir, now if at all you get a superpower from the universe, a boon, mm -hmm. one gift from the universe. Yes, this is the superpower, Dr. Suresh Kumar Murgeshan. This is the superpower. What is that superpower you would want? What would you choose? Uh, superpower means uh, well-being. Wow. Focusing on that, the happiness, the day-to-day -day life. Peace of mind, that's another. Great. And get, get it from any money and error. And as I said, no, there are uh, um, uh, contentment in our mind. Uh, there are many occasions I, when I look at the people who are very rich and uh, when they are coming in the car, I, uh, they, they will say that I'm having these things. Okay, I'm also having the car. And you will go 120 maximum speed, but when you go to the bypass, Four way eighty kilometers on allow. I'm also I can able to go eighty kilometers in my car. <laughs> so there is much difference in that. I used to say to many people, but how we feel happy with that? What we are having in our that's very important. And I I can say um, when we are exploring that uh, many places, um, I, I witnessed one documentary about Madurai, not by. Here, people, it is an one foreigner who came and who documented Madurai and beautifully captured places in Madurai. When I look at that, it's for me. So, when it's something with me, we won't praise them, we won't know the quality of that, what we are having. When we miss out, we realize that. So, when they were narrating how beautiful it is, and, um, and the, from that perspective, when we look at their Ikarike Akari Pachai, other side may be very green. When, when we hear, but when we go there and they feel that what we are for us, for them it is a green father. So, when we realize these things and uh, make an effort with that whatever we are having with that, we can able to be very happy. There are many people around us and not all the people are bad, not all the people are good. When we are having this understanding, I think nothing will disturb us and we can move on that. And when we go up, there is a down, definitely will come. If there is a down, we need to bother about it. There is an up will come. Super, super. Rambo, Rambo, Nalasa. Very nice. So this is a beautiful, you know, sharing from our guest, by our guest, sharing by our guest. You know, there is an up and there is a down and there is an up again. So that is life. You'll never have it, you know, going very smoothly. So be ready for the highs and be ready for the lows. 
Right? Very nice, sir. Very nice. Beautifully put in. Dear sir, the next question coming up is like we have last two, three questions. Like we'll just go ahead quickly. Dear sir, uh, from this very moment till the next 50 years, what about a 50 years, sir? What do you think the changes will be? What kind of changes do you think will be in the world? Uh, I think technology will uh, integration of human beings. A lot of technological advancement will be there. And, and after seeing that AI in artificial intelligence, unimaginable. Unimaginable. Because why I'm saying that, see, I have some idea. I have the idea. But when I'm putting into writing, I had a difficulty. But there are many technologies will help me when we know how to use the tool. That Those are the tools. The instrument what we are having in our hand. When we know how to use the tool and we will be more successful. And when I am giving my ideas to that, it generated excellent one. I, I mesmerized. And no one can feel that, for example, when you take any given population, 10 percentage of population are very good in writing. You cannot say all the 100. The 10 percent are super good in that. But now, the, the lowest 10 people who are not, don't know how to write when we know how to use this technology, and they can also be competing with this top 10 people. So that that uh, technology, is an, uh, we cannot unavoid of it. It's like omnipresence. When we ask you to define about the card, it is omnipresent. The technology will be omnipresent in the future. And, and everywhere you can able to see. And, and we, we have the openness to accept that technology. There are many people till now they are uh, uh, complaining about the technology. There are many people still now their social media. We are spending much of time in social media. Help you to overcome your uh, mental health issues. It also creates a lot of mental health problems also. So, uh, my thing is about another 50 years, technology is the one. It will be more and more, more advancement will happen. And we need to open-minded and we need to adapt to more skills and to that technological advancement. So, that I, I can... Uh, See from my perspective, maybe, and there's a uh, much importance is given to that uh, nature, preserving the nature, and uh, how we can keep our earth better place. It's already better place only, but there is an the emergence of these thoughts are very dominant in almost all the places. I hope that the more efforts will be taken by the different place, different people, and different countries also. Great, great, sir. brilliant, sir. Very nice. I like the positivity that you have. You're not seeing anything negative in the future, next coming 50 years. Everything is so positive and you say everyone should, you know, pick up the technological skills and take care of the environment. And you say, even now, the world is a beautiful place and yes. it will be a beautiful place for the next 50 years. That's yes. really nice. Very positive. Thank Dear you. sir, if at all you had a chance to go, now we were in the future, we'll go back into the past. If you had a particular machine, mm -hmm. just it's an imaginary question or machine number, Kyle, you had oh. it and you just have to press the button. And that will take you into the past. Okay. And you have to go there and you have to relive somebody's life. Which personality's life would you want to relive? Oh, relive. Um, I think I'm not having any such a thing. And uh, no one made me to such a experience. To to me. I never amazed or uh, awful experiences. I got it from someone else. No, I couldn't find that such a thing. I, I there are certain places I I had my school days so when I'm playing cricket. That that moment I want to be recreated, and I try to re-experience it. That's all, and and I want to be live my life. <laughs> yeah. So you wouldn't want to go into the past. If I want to go to my past, I want to be there. The the the, the yeah, when I was engaging myself with my. Okay. Area. So that, that's the only place. Otherwise, okay. great, great, great. I accept this answer. So how do you look at this question? Critical, not critical, constructive criticism. How should one give constructive uh, criticism or how should we take that constructive criticism? Any way you can explain that. Both terms are uh, constructive only. Criticism and uh, constructive uh, inputs are both are the positive only. For example, if, if you are known to me, very close to my heart, I criticize you because I, I feel that I have the right to criticize. So we cannot go and criticize the people very next door or someone we are not aware about it. 
naturally we the conscience will say that they are the people who are not supposed to do that but the people very close to us for example when my son is not doing something i criticize him it is a constructive only but what they are expecting that they go on for example uh, they uh, uh, get into that particular examination at uh, eight o'clock up to seven thirty they are not doing anything at all how we can we give constructive feedback to the person definitely it will not work out it is based on the situation and based on that place and based on that i feel that both are correct but the criticism when we use the harsh word see our intention of using for, for example sometime i use these things in my classrooms also i used to say that i make a, a disclaimer before that see when you are making me to harsh it is not because of me you all also the cause for that you have to understand that it is not necessary be harsh because when i am harsh my hormonal components are not balanced and it affects my biological health also but you are the root cause for that and and uh, criticism is something is good is good if we are not getting the right criticism or you can give it another positive it is a positive constructive feedback it's a positive term it is easy to say but when we are practicing it when the loved ones are doing something wrong it may be wife or it may be husband or it may be the siblings or it may be the children and it is nothing wrong in criticizing even if it is a negative no talks nothing wrong in it but we have to make them to understand it is an for our progress only it cannot be done for any others right yeah. when you, when someone is there in the street we cannot go and say them we will just no way that's all but for the people we love and we it is them what you have done is wrong you, you are making inviting unwanted problem in your life we we do these things and they will say that we are giving advice boomer what nothing wrong is you can say anything but i will continue to do these things and if you make it as a criticism you can take it it is the the rest, the people who are taking this information and they are the one they can consider is and whether it is a constructive feedback whether it is a criticism not from our perspective and we are giving constructive feedback and they think that they are criticizing us it is it is it is their perception only yes but the people generally they used to take in the negative note negative very nice i like the positivity you know even if you receive constructive criticism take it in the positive way because it's for you to change oh, yes? yes and yes. we care that's why we are giving you that uh, you know constructive criticism to you know come even back out of the even if it is not comfortable for us it is meant yes. for our welfare only very beautiful not when for example the bitter card is prepared by parents are meant for our health only the same way for the criticism also this is a negative way to do that when they are trying to do positively when they are for example three to four time and they say more politely when we are not taking it and they will go to that way yes when we when they know about it when they are criticizing only if you are doing it and naturally the person is giving the room for that to take whether it is a constructive or criticism yes Not so I like this example where you gave the bitter god example. Yes, Very yeah. nice. So what is bitter god called in Tamil? I I just would like okay. to. Okay. 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 Fine. Good. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Dear sir, do you forgive people easily? Yes or no? Now easily I'm forgiving, and then forgiving and mostly I forget. Now, but earlier I I keep those things for longer period of time, yes. and I it holding fire on my hand only. But now now, okay. see someone is saying something negative about me their uh, environment their perspective and they are saying it that won't make any change in me i can able to block my progress for some time yes <laughs> yes it, i like the way you said no it's like if i don't forgive somebody it's like holding fire in my hand yes, yeah, yes, i have really right so on a scale of 1 to 10 mm -hmm. how much would you rate yourself with regard to forgiving others or for you know with regard to forgiveness no uh, as of now my my perception i i forgive nearly 8 8 on 10 great very nice and very humble of you dear sir we've come to an end of the main session of the interview but still i wouldn't want to let you go there are a few more questions please give me 10 minutes more please okay yeah, I'm, I'm, i'm okay sir or 10 minutes na sir only uh -huh. this is just called as the rapid fire round okay. only you have to answer in one word okay, okay one word Will you please? 
yes romba thanks sir romba thank you thank you very much <laughs> thank you you like cakes or ice cream cakes cakes S strawberry flavor chocolate flavor chocolate summer winter rainy season rainy you like to travel by land water or air land you love to stay city village or town village okay uh, when you help somebody do you expect something in return sometimes great good answer i like that answer very honest uh, your idea of a beautiful day in one word happy are you a good cook as i said earlier no <laughs> the name of your most favorite teacher or sir dr selluraj nyanad you like to sing or dance what is it no no none of the two are you sure okay great yes sir. are you a morning person morning afternoon evening or night which part night. of the day you are active night night will be more active because that time i have less disturbance yeah i agree with you so you love salty food sweet food or spicy food when it come priority sweet same pinch even i love sweets <laughs> yes so we come introvert or extrovert or both mixed uh predominantly introvert okay oh, that's nice whenever you are alone you are with your thoughts when we are alone we are mostly in our lost in our thoughts so where do you find yourself in the past or you are busy doing trying to do something in the present or you connecting with the future i engage myself something oh great that means on the present moment in the day or uh, watching something. beautiful so do you like socializing or me time or both 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 me time i give much priority than that socializing beautiful are you a thinker a doer or both 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 you love fresh food fresh fruits fresh salads or fried food or both fresh fresh great you like home cooked food or food ordered from outside home 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 cooked food like you like to spend time on a beach or in a forest forest okay would you like to sing for us yes or no no great okay thank you for answering okay. last two more questions sir you like to go by walk or a two wheeler or a four wheeler where do you find yourself happier or comfortable comfortable is car only oh, great now sir or chinna table irukku sir and the chinna table la vandu or nalla book irukku sir mm. and then the side you have a lo lovely music system mm. what will you put your hands on first the music first or the book music. or both music the first music okay favorite yeah. music Yes, sir. First music, then what? Of oh, Ilya Raj music, you said, right? Yeah. Ilya yeah. Raj's uh, songs and everything. Yes, sir. This last question, and it's over, sir. Uh, as we know, there are the three magical words: please, sorry, and thank you. Worldwide, it is very famous. Please, sorry, and thank you. Idoda, we want three magical words from you, Doctor Suresh Kumar Murugeshan, sir, our celebrity today. Positive yeah. words: love, optimism, hope. Great, great. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you very much, Romba Romba Nandri, and thanks for taking a lot of time from you and you permitted me with all the time in the world. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much for the energy, happiness I received from you. Thank you so much. Thank you for that. I'm really honored and uh, and I can able to introspect in this uh, one hour entry. A lot of memories I can able to recollect. There are the real me I can able to see today. And, and a lot to do. Uh, many improvisations need to be done. And I can say this session is for me introspection. Thank you so much for that lovely opportunity. And please accept my gratitude and uh, and, and be touch in touch with me. And, and and if any help from my side, if you need it, always I'm open here. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. I've always say heard this from you. If you need any help, get connected. That's really no one will say that that easily. So you're having a very beautiful heart, and thank you so much from me and from the International Fab Talk Show. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Have thank a good night. Good night. Thank God bless. Thank you so much. Yes. Dear team, we sign off from the International Fab Talk Show. We are very happy that you are with us. If you like us and what work we are doing, kindly stay tuned with us. You could like, subscribe, and share. whatever we share with you on this platform thank you so much stay blessed